All right, folks, first things first, making burgers, got to have some bacon rendering down. So this time I cut them two inches long. Last time they were an inch long. It didn't work out so well. I mean, it worked out. It's bacon. Come on. But I think we can do better. So our bacon onion relish is going to be made with two inch strips today. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, so now we got the onions cut up. Got a little pepper in there. A little extra virgin olive oil. Got these things on uh, medium heat. And it's going to go for a couple hours and I'll check on that. Going to the meat now. Okay, so we got three pounds ground chuck, ground round, ground sirloin. We got Montreal steak seasoning. We got minced garlic and pepper. That's it. Three kinds of meat, three spices. Stir to incorporate. Let stand 30 minutes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some just plain old onions. My son's girlfriend doesn't do the bacon with the onions. So if you notice, right here I've made a cut. Over here I made a cut. I made a cut. I make four cuts, relief cuts. And this uh, onion just <laughs> comes apart with the relief cuts. So again, I suggest the relief cuts. So I'm going to chop this onion up. And... Uh, not in rings but in kind of a diced manner all right so <clears throat> got the meat resting got some olive oil in the pan I switched burners I got a bigger burner over here and here's the diced onions going into that pan meat is still resting letting some of those flavors incorporate stay tuned all right so now we've got our onions in the pan got some olive oil some pepper and some roasted garlic sea salt it's good stuff here Alright folks, 10 more minutes, it's gone by. We went in here and we broke up some of the bacon. You're going to have to do that after it kicks off and starts cooking. We stirred the onions. We're going to cover both of the onions and uh, start working on the patties. Stay tuned. Alright, so here we go. We've got our meat in the loaf. And then I use a bread knife. I cut it in half and half and half and half again. It's the best way I've found to get even proportions out of the meat. Meat loaf, cut it up. Alright, so see what we got here? We got the wax paper. This is the trick. Wax paper, couple patties. Wax paper, couple patties. We get out to the grill, and do the flip right into your spatula. Get them on the grill. So each one of these little deals, that's your hamburgers. It works out so well, folks. Alright, guys, let's break it down. So when we put it in the loaf, it gives them the ability to cut it with the bread knife. And then I'm cutting it cross grain. So everything is just, you know, a half inch tall, three quarters of an inch tall. Uh, nothing's crossed this way. That's the key, folks. All right, folks, so we got our patties made. These onions are getting very translucent and pretty awesome looking. And the bacon over here, again, this is like a side project. Bacon relish I made last week, and I'm trying to just make it better. But this is for today's meal. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Look at these minced onions. I don't know, man. It's looking pretty perfect. And again, this has still got another hour. The burgers are on the grill. Fixing to hit the head up on the buns. So we got it. Here we cut the tomatoes in slices, cut out the middle, knock out the seeds, deconstructed tomatoes. That's what's happening. Got our, our uh, hamburgers. Onions are looking perfect. Brioche buns are toasted. Lettuce is going on. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, and our dressing today is going to be mayo and cha cha, which is like a hot relish with some onions diced up into it. That's what it is. Right, folks, there it is. All plated up. Onions, bacon, tomatoes, cha cha mayo dressing, cheese, Havarti. Oh yeah. That is a Memorial Day burger if I ever saw one. All right, and here's my son's rendition of his burger. He's all about bacon, meat, and pickles. Ha <laughs> ha.